Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the real analysis. Today I will explain you how you can solve the Vistas M test for the uniform convergence. Myself, Dr. Harishkar, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the real analysis. And in this playlist, you can see we have discussed the series of the function, pointwise uniform convergence, example of the uniform convergence. Apart from them, we have also discussed the sequences of the function complete along with the CSR net examinations solution. And you can see in this playlist a lot of the questions and the concept you have seen in a single playlist. Now, what is the objective is? We will see how we can check the uniform convergence of the series. Either you can write the series as summation of the un or you can write as a summation of the fn. As we discussed in our last lecture, we have the two different methods. The first method is by using the definition that we have discussed in our last lecture, which you can see is available in my playlist of real analysis and the examples of the uniform convergence, the method one. The second method we have discussed in this lecture, that is a WM test. We have discussed this concept in this lecture. I hope you don't forget to like and comment on this video. So what is the Vistas M test for the uniform convergence of the series? So suppose you have the infinite series Fx, Fn is the series of the function defined on the domain A, where A is the subset of the R, such that the absolute value of the Fn is less than equal to the Mn. Then you can say the series Fn is uniform convergent if this series Mn is convergent. And that's the result of this WM test. The proof is a very, very simple. Believe me, I will prove the result of this statement within the five minutes. What is given to you? Your target is to prove Mn your target is to prove series Fn is uniform convergence. So proof is very simple. I assume the series Mn is my convergent. Then your target is to prove the series Fn is uniform convergent. Now since it is not given that the series is convergent and what will be the limits? So since it is not given to you, then we can apply the Cauchy criteria for the, Cauchy criteria for the convergence. What is the Cauchy criteria for the convergent? We can assume a uh, given epsilon greater than zero, there exists a positive integer m such that, what is the definition of the uniform convergent? m n plus p minus of the m n is less than epsilon for all n which is greater than of the m and p is my greater than or equal to one. Now, if you open this bracket, what will happen? It is my m of n plus one plus m of n plus 2 and up to m of n plus p, which is less than of epsilon. So therefore, by Cauchy criteria of the uniform, by Cauchy criteria of the convergence, we can obtain. Now as mn is my positive real numbers, so there is no need of this summation because if mn is my positive, mn plus 1 is my positive, mn plus 2 is my positive, so all these quantities are my positive. Now, how you can prove this series is my uniform convergent? Again, my target is to prove fn plus 1, fn plus 2, fn plus p is less than epsilon. So let's start with the left hand side. How you can open that? We all know what is the value of mod a plus b. It is mod of a plus mod of b. So I can say this is less than of fn plus 1, fn plus 2 and so on. And according to the given statement, ff and x is less than equal to mn for all n in my natural number. And you can see the given statement. So I can apply this condition on this point. So it is less than equal to m of n plus 1 plus m of n plus 2 plus so on up to m plus p by using this condition. Now what is the value of this? By using the equation number 1, it is less than of epsilon. So that's the requirement proof. So therefore, by the Cauchy criteria for the uniform convergence, the series is uniform convergent. And you can see that within a few lines, you can prove this result in a very, very simple manner. Now, what is the significance of this result? Can you solve all these examples in a very quick manner? Believe me, 
you can solve all these examples within the three lines how how you can solve all these uniform convergence by using the three line step so i will tell you the two step rule the step number one is your target is to find the value of mn but question rather is this is how you can find the value of mn we can start with the modulus and you can prove right the mn is what is the mn is in terms of n and once you can write the value of the mn then your next, next target is check the convergence of series mn again the question arises is how we can check the convergence that we already studied that you can apply either the ratio test you can apply the root test geometric test any of this series for more detail about this series you can watch about my this against the same playlist and you can see in this playlist i have explained is the coaching pedal test ratio test root test limit comparison test geometric test and many more test in this playlist now let's start with this first example my given series is fn can you define the value of the fn so where fn x is my 1 over x square plus n square and what is the meaning of this that means x belongs to the 0 comma infinity fine now let's start with this step number 1 i can write this is the modulus which is equal to 1 over n square plus x square fine now clearly say from this case we can obtain x is my greater than 0 remember n is also positive so i can see this number is my n square plus x square now remember student your target is to write this value in terms of less than equal to mn that is in terms of the n so now x is my positive what does it means can i write n square plus x square is always be greater than of the n square and then what is the reciprocal of this it is less than of 1 by n square now this is the function of the n only so i call this number is my m n now step number 2 is your target is to check the convergence of this i can substitute the value of the m n now can you prove that this is a convergent or divergent clearly say this series is my convergent by which test by p test yes you are true by using the p test why because 1 over n raised to power p is my convergent whenever p is greater than 1 and it is divergent whenever p is less than equal to 1 now since the series of the mn is convergent therefore by using the wm test the given series is my uniform convergence look at the second example and you can see that within that two line you can prove this example okay show that the series is my convergent or not again can you find the value of the fn so my fn x will be x over n into n plus 1 i can start with the modulus value f and x is equal to absolute value of this number what is the meaning that means x is my 0 to k or you can say x or you can simply say 0 is less than equal to x is less than equal to k and since k is my positive number x is my positive n is always positive so i can write this expression is n into n plus 1 because the modulus value cancel out now my target is to write in terms of less than so clearly say x is my less than equal to k this is over n into n plus 1 so i called this number is my mn or you can or you can again simplify this because we all knows n into n plus 1 which is always be greater than of the n square that means 1 over is always less than of n square either you can consider this expression is my mn or you can consider this expression is my mn the choice is on your hand now once you can consider this expression then what is the step number 2 so k will be outside it is 1 over n square again you can see this series is my convergent by using the p test fine so if you are using this as my mn then again you can write this is mn again k is my outside 
which is my 1 over n into n plus 1. You can apply the limit comparison test here. You can say also this number is my less than or equal to 1 over n square. And again, this series is my convergent by the p test. So therefore, by using the WM test, we can say the series is uniform convergent. Look at the third example. Now, in this case, you have to write the series firstly. Fine. So can you write the series Fn? So look at that. The numerator is 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2, 2 raised to power 3. And it's my 2 raised to power n. Expression is x, x cube, x raised to power 5, and so on. If you closely look about the powers, these are my AP. So can you find the nth term of the AP? A plus n minus 1 into d. So that is 1 plus n minus 1 common difference is 2. So that will be 2n minus 1. So that means x raised to power 2n minus 1. Look at the denominator. It is 1 plus x. The powers are my 2, 4, 6. Again, you can see this series is my AP. You can write this number is A plus n minus 1. Common difference is 2. That is my 2n. Fine. So my Fn is this quantity. Now we can start with this value of fn x, which is 2 raised to power n, x raised to power 2n minus 1 divided by 1 plus x raised to power 2n. Now you can see is x raised to power 2n. Here x, it may be negative or positive, but if you consider as the x square, it is always my positive. And if you consider x raised to power 2n, it is again my positive. If you add them, it is my greater than equal to 1. So what does it mean? If you take the reciprocal, it is my less than equal to 1. So I can say this number is my less than equal to 2 raised to power n, x raised to power 2n minus 1. Again, because x raised to power 2n is my even number, so it is my less than of this expression. Fine. Now, because x, either you can write this number is x is less than of half. You can also write this number is x is 2n half raised to power 2n minus 1. And then you can see it is my 2 raised to power n minus 2n plus 1. That will be 1 minus n. This is the one way. Otherwise, you can consider this expression is my mn. Fine. Now, your target is to write the series. If you substitute the value of x raised to power 2n minus 1. Fine. Otherwise, you can substitute the value of x. x is less than or equal to half also. That's on your choice. Now, how you can check about that? Because you can never apply the p-test. So, I can apply the ratio test. Fine. So, I can apply the mn plus 1 over mn. So what will happen? 2 raised to power n plus 1 x raised to power 2n plus 2 minus 1 divided by 2 raised to power n, x raised to power 2n minus 1. So 2 raised to power n cancel is a 2, 2n will be cancelled, it's a 1, and it is my x square. Fine. So my expression is 2x square, and because x is lies between minus half to half, so twice of x square will be less than of 1. Because x square will be less than of 1 by 4, if you multiply by twice, so 2x square will be less than or equal to half and it is less than of 1. So what does it mean? Ratio is less than 1. Therefore, by using the ratio test, we can say the series Mn is convergent. And once the Mn is convergent, we can say by WM test, the series is also convergent. This is the first method as I told you. Second method is you can change the value of the M. So in, I can substitute x is less than or equal to half. So your mn will be 2 raised to power n, 2 raised to power 2n minus 1. So that will be my, I can take on the numerator. So it's 2 raised to power 1 minus n. Fine. Now clearly say again, this series is convergent. Why? Because if your mn is 2 raised to power 1 minus n, then the series of the mn 2 will be the constant. It is summation of 2 raised to power minus n. Clearly say this is my GP series. 
and what is the common ratio of the gp series common ratio is my half and clearly say mod of r is less than 1 therefore this is my convergent and once this is convergent again you can see the by wm test the series is uniform convergent i hope you can like and comment on this video as well so we will see the more than 15 examples again on the wm test in our next lecture till then you can subscribe my youtube channels and don't forget to share this video with your friends i hope you can support my efforts and thanks for the watching best of luck students happy learning